everybody, and welcome back to another Microfed Art tutorial. Yay! Do you ever sometimes just look at your 2 by 2 hipster door and think, wow, I could be doing so much better. No? Just me? Oh, okay. Don't get me wrong, a 2 by 2 hipster door is a fantastic build. It's very fast, it's very compact, and it's extremely practical. But when people are making hipster doors like this, yeah, it just doesn't seem so awesome anymore. Now, what I thought I'd do is make a new hipster door. Now, sorry in advance. It's not a six by six, but I am going to make, no, I have made, I'm now going to show you, is a four by four hipster door. Yes, this build does use slime and honey. <laughs> now, I know you've seen it already, but let's take another look how it works. So let's close the door. Super fast. And then flick the door open. Oh yeah, look at those pistons go. <laughs> and I know you've seen the rest of it, but let's just take one more fly around. Yeah, it's super, super compact. Okay, so now you've seen the build and you've seen it working. Let's get on with this tutorial. But just before I flick it once more. <laughs> okay, to start this build, like usual, we firstly need to determine where our door is actually going to be. So I want my door to extend from the ground from here up to here. So I want a four by four square up here, like that. So that being the front of the door, and this being the back, so the slime and honey going up this side. So no honey on this side, but there will be honey on this side. So this is the front, <laughs> that's the back, all right? <laughs> Just make sure you got that in the right place because you don't want to be moving it afterwards. <laughs> okay, after that, we've got to do a little bit of digging. Break the four blocks out in front and remove any blocks underneath the door. One, two, three, four. Come to the left and break out one, two, three, four, five like that. And then count this as one and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And now we can just fill in the rectangle or break out the rectangle even <laughs> and go like that. So now you should have a one, two, three, four, five by eight wide hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. But sadly, this hole needs to be 11 deep. And of course, this is only one deep. So you're going to dig this out 10 more times. Fantastic, like that. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 deep. Brilliant. So now we can place in our pistons. Now the pistons aren't going underneath these blocks here because of course we're not moving these blocks, we're moving the slime and honey, which is moving those blocks. So what I want you to do is place a block here, like that, and then come down 9 underneath. So it should be 10 in total. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Remove the first nine, <laughs> going all the way up, and then have four sticky pistons uh, facing directly upwards. So one, two, three, four. So you should have one, two, three, four blocks like that before we'd hit slime or whatever block we'd have there. So there should be four blocks like that. I don't know how to describe that very well, but basically make sure there's four blocks and it's like that, okay? <laughs> Oops. Then you want to place four more to the side. Like that. Another four. And the last set of four. Like so. So you can see it's one block behind these blocks. You know that awkward moment when you do all the rest and then you realise you've done it completely wrong? No? Is that just me as well? Yes, that just happened. <laughs> so after that, come over to the right hand side and place a block here off the bottom piston. And this is where our lever is going to go. Then have a torch to the left or towards the front, a block on top of that torch, and a torch to the right, which should turn off. Then a block, then a torch out like this, a block on top, a block on top, <laughs> then a torch on this side, which should turn off. Then an obsidian, then a torch out, then a block, torch to the right, and a block, 
Then grab an observer, place it downward off the side of that torch, so the face going towards the sky. Uh, block, sorry, no, obsidian here, and dash like this, one and two. So, if I flick that lever now, these four pistons should extend, like this. Why? Well, because when I flick this lever on, this, power, this obviously powers, extending this piston. That obviously turns that torch off. I'm powering this torch, powering this uh, torch, powering this block. That turns on. That's off. That goes off. This is on. This is on. Powering this one on. That one goes off. This one goes off. This one goes on. This one goes on. Turn this dust on, which turns on this piston extending it. Now, of course, we want to extend all of these pistons, not just the first four. So we're going to do that by firstly placing a line of obsidian like this up to here and dust on every single one. Then come underneath here. And we now want to place a block next to that off torch and go along and dust on every single one. And then place a block here. Blocks all along and dust. <laughs> but on our last pistons, we want something different. Okay, so coming from the torch, go around this side where all the dust is. Place a block here and one down. Remove this one. And then we want an observer facing toward the back like that, so the dot going toward the back. <laughs> and then have an observer coming away from that one. All right? And then the same on this side. So one like this, but mirror it. So one going toward the lever, but then one more. And then we need dust on these five like that. One, two, three, four, five, but not on this observer. So now when I flick the lever, they should all extend because these dusts should all turn on. Perfect. And funnily enough, we actually have a first retraction as well because there's an observer here. When this dust turns off, the observer detects that, firing this dust again, retracting these pistons, obviously, no, sorry, retracting these pistons because these ones extend, taking them down. Like so. Fantastic. Now, the thing to understand with the retraction, it looks really complicated, but actually it's really easy because it's all about order. So to help you understand, what I'd suggest is just to place four blocks on top of our pistons which would obviously represent our slime and honey. So you can see where they're going. Okay, so our next attraction is down here. We need to extend these pistons and then retract them, moving these pistons down to here. So we do that by coming over to this block here and placing an observer downward. Then have a repeater on four tick delay coming away from that torch and then a block. And that's it. <laughs> so when that torch turns back on, after four ticks, that observer detects that firing into this block, firing into this dust here. So there we can see it like this. You see that retraction there. Next, we need to extend these pistons, moving these pistons down to here. So we do that by placing a block next to this torch and an observer downward, move this block and have a repeater on four tick delay coming away from that torch. So place it down and press it three times. Then have another observer facing toward these pistons. Then have a sticky piston facing upward here. Then place a furnace or a chest, it doesn't matter, like this. And in it, have any old block you don't mind throwing away. Then have another observer, <laughs> this build is very observer heavy, and place it downward like that. And a comparator like so. And then finally grab another observer and place it going toward this block like this. So we should have the dot here. Perfect. So this works. By when that torch turns back on, after four ticks, this, uh, this repeater obviously turns on, which obviously that observer detects firing, that observer detects not firing, which fires, which fires into this piston, and moving this furnace up, then down. So obviously this comparator is going to turn off and then on very quickly, which will then power this observer. That observer will detect that, powering into this block, obviously powering this dust once more. Like this. Brilliant. <laughs> now our next attraction is actually quite easy. By doing one, we're actually going to do two. <laughs> So first thing we need to power these pistons, moving these blocks down, and then we need to power these pistons, moving these pistons down to here. So we do that by placing a tempi block next to our obsidian, an observer down, move that block so the face is exposed, <laughs> then coming away from this obsidian, place a repeater on three tick delay, so place it down and press it twice, once, twice, come up, crouch, and place a repeater on top, have dust here, not a block, it has to be dust, then an obsidian here, and finally, another repeater on three tick delay. So place it down, press it twice, once, twice. Now, why this bit gives two attractions, I'll explain very briefly. 
When this obsidian turns off, after three ticks, this repeater turns on. No, wait, off. <laughs> when that turns off, this observer detects that, powering, powering this dust. After three ticks, this repeater gives a pulse into here. That obviously extends these pistons, moving these blocks down. And at the same time, this observer detects that and then fires into this dust, extending these pistons, which grabs these pistons down. Like this. Perfect. So now we need to fire these pistons to attract these ones down to here. Now we do that very simply by grabbing observers. And we need to place an observer coming away from this one. So we can see the piston on the left and the observer face to the right. Place one like that. And then two up. One, two. So as these observers are getting fired, this one detects that, fires. This one detects that one firing, firing. These two detect that one firing, which fire. And then the same with this one. This one detects that one. And then this one detects this one firing into this block, obviously powering this dust again. Like this. So now all we have to do is fire these pistons again, attracting these blocks down. And then these ones, attracting these pistons down. And then the top ones again, attracting the blocks. Nice and simple. <laughs> now we do part of that attraction by coming down to this observer here, placing a block, one out. Coming away from this block, we need a repeater on four tick delay. So place it down and press it three times, once, twice, thrice. <laughs> then we need three observers coming off that repeater. So crouch, place an observer, then two more. Then we need a redstone block, which I fail to get out, which is clever. <laughs> Just give me a second. Okay, I got my redstone block. <laughs> so place it here and then have another observer like so. You see now we nearly have all our attractions. So nearly. There we are. Now you see though that double pulse we had. These ones extended and then extended again. So they grabbed the blocks, but then they pulsed again. They have that significant delay so that these pistons can extend again, moving these ones down to here. And then this dust will extend again. Sorry, this dust will turn on again, extending these pistons, moving the blocks down. That's why. And we have that delay because of this little circuit up here with the repeater. Now, thankfully, this final attraction is super simple. So what you need to do is place an observer coming away from this one here, like that. So that observer detects that one. Then this observer detects that one. And this observer detects that one. <laughs> then we need another one facing toward the front. And then a sticky piston. An observer facing toward the right. A block here, a repeater on three ticks, so place it down, press it twice, once, twice. Crouch and place another observer facing upward. A slab on the top side of this piston, or a piece of glass, it doesn't matter. Block here and block here, and dust, like this, one and two. And surprisingly, you are completely done. <laughs> As it retracts like this, this observe these observers are obviously firing, which fire into this piston, moving this observer up, then down. When it goes back down, after three ticks, this repeater turns on. This observer detects that, powering the two dust and the two blocks, extending these four pistons. Like this. And it's just in time. You watch this. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that actually is everything completely done. So if we remove those blocks, extend it. And we grab our slime and honey, which I failed to get again. <laughs> Sorry, as we grab our slime and honey, you see I'm prepared this time, <laughs> we can place it in like this. Slime, honey, slime, honey. And it has to go like that. It doesn't have to be that order. It can be honey, slime, honey, slime, but it has to alternate between the slime and the honey, all right? But four lines going vertical. That should be it. So fix the lever and... Oh yeah. <laughs> And of course, we have to decorate. So I'd place some immovable blocks. You can actually uh, make these four blocks into normal blocks if you like, but of course then you expose the redstone, so it's up to you. And then place in your normal blocks round. Doesn't really matter. You know, <laughs> it's fine. But there we are. Click the lever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Looks fantastic. And of course, you can move the little flicky thing, otherwise known as a lever, down here. <laughs> so all you have to do is remove where the lever is, Place a block and have a repeater going toward that block. And then you can have dust wherever you like. Just mine the redstone, obviously, over here. Oh, but you don't want a lever. You want a T flip flop?
I stand in this door, does that make me a hipster? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's it. We're done. We're over. <laughs> anyway, this is the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next one and I'll see you later. Bye.